For people who have sustained spinal cord and brain injuries, the road to recovery can be a long one. For many of these patients, top quality rehabilitation can mean the difference between surviving and thriving. At McGee Rehabilitation Hospital, we understand the journey to independence is measured in steps, not leaps. While small on their own, together they make a big difference. At the very core of the locomotor training program at McGee is the belief in the mind-body connection. This therapeutic approach is based on what we know about how the brain and the spinal cord work together to control stepping and how the nervous system learns or relearns a motor skill. McGee Rehab has a prominent role in the world of locomotor training across this country because of the level of and depth of experience that we have in this intervention. We've been doing locomotor training and all forms of it and helping to develop that in the clinical setting because prior to 15 years ago, it was really only in the research setting. And now we've been expanding that expertise and helping to educate other people around the country. We hold courses every year. People come from all over different geographical areas to learn from McGee Rehab so that they can take this intervention home and that they can use it in their own areas. Each patient that comes to McGee has a different background a different experience and a different story. But for those patients that participate in locomotor training, their stories have one striking similarity. They begin and end with a single step. Yeah, my, my goals uh, in, the locom in the locomotor training uh, have changed uh, from time to time. Uh, at first, it was just to, uh, to discard my wheelchair and, uh, and begin to walk independently again. Uh, and then it began uh, to, the goals began to expand once I achieved that. I, w I wanted to climb stairs and I wanted to, uh, um, to be much more independent. I wanted to grab my children and pick them up and hold them securely um, while I was doing different things. And so um, my goals have changed and they constantly, they needed to change uh, for me. And, uh, and, and so the therapist, um, the program itself has been very flexible um, to my specific needs. I'm constantly, I've constantly been asked, um, what do you want to do, Mike? What, what do you uh, what do you want to achieve next? What should we be training towards? And we've all of our therapies, all of our uh, programs have been really tailored very practically towards what's happening for me right now um, in my life with my family, my kids, um, and so it's been it's been it's always been tied to the practical. My first experiences with the locomotor training were um, it was it was definitely eye opening. Um, I at in my inpatient, um, was able to get up on the on the treadmill there, and uh, at that point, I still had a, a halo on, so it was a little awkward and cumbersome. And um, but you know, to to just see myself, you know, standing again, and um, you know, seeing my legs move, which it's a possibility that that's for for me to to walk again. Yeah, Miggy Rehab definitely inspired me uh, to push myself again, not just in terms of the therapy that I was doing, but also personally. And, and maybe because they, um, because the staff, uh, they weren't going to coddle me, they weren't going to baby me, they were, you know, they were, they were firm. And um, through that, I realized that, you know, that was the sort of discipline that I needed in order to succeed. McGee was uh, part of a five-year multi-center NIH, or National Institute of Health, uh, research trial that was about 15 years ago it started, and it went for five full years and only included five sites in North America. Following that extensive study, we had the opportunity to become the co-founders of what's now known across the country as the Neuro Recovery Network, which is a network of locomotor training clinics that are supported by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and the CDC, or Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. My first experience with the locomotor training was uh, inpatient, um, and it was very early on, and uh, my physical therapist uh, pushed me to try it. Uh, I was all, I, I was game for it, but I really didn't know what to expect. I found it to be uh, 
fairly um, uh, fairly violent. There was a lot of moving around at that early stage. I still had my brace on, and so I was really concerned. But uh, I needed a lot of assistance at first. There were a lot of therapists uh, uh, helping me on each and every leg and uh, holding me up from behind. And so it was uh, it was a real workout for them. I could tell, and it was uh, it was a real workout for me too. I wasn't sure if it was for me or not. Since my injury, uh, McGee Rehab has pretty much given me, you know, my life back. They've uh, retaught me everything that I, you know, I needed to learn. Um, you know, I had to learn how to eat again, how to dress myself, how to, you know, a everyday daily activities. What I got from them that that stuck with me is that there's always a way to do whatever it is that you want to do. First part of my training, I was using the manual system. So my experiences were uh, clunky, and then it was sort of um, pretty soon after that that I ended up in the, in the, in the locomotor training program at McGee, and I was sort of um, quickly thrust into the whole process of learning to be upright. It was difficult. Uh, you know, I started off five days a week. Um, and you had the same physical therapy aides, you, and I had the same therapist most of the time. And even when it wasn't, you know, that particular therapist who was like manning the con, you know, so to speak, um, ever, all the other therapists were there and they would always kind of like, you know, give you critique, give you pointers, and, and uh, it was really a great experience. The level of expertise that our staff has has now transposed to the point where we have expanded our program and we now not only offer manually assisted locomotor training, but also the robotic device in order to provide locomotor training. So McGee actually has four machines between our inpatient and outpatient facilities that we can put people up on all day long. McGee Rehabilitation, I think, really is about family. I, I've been here for, uh, for nine months now, and, and, and the teamwork and the family aspect uh, of all the folks I've met, I mean, they, they, they treat me like I'm a family member, they, I, I really believe that they care for me. I think the most profound effect that the locomotor training had on me was, you know, it, it allowed me to accomplish um, a goal that, you know, 10 years ago would, wouldn't even seem possible. Um, you know, it's, McGee offers such a unique um, experience in therapy, and like I said, they are they treat you like your their family, and um, you know they don't give up on you. They push you. You don't like it sometimes, but um, you know it's worth it in the end. It's it's the experience here and the knowledge uh, that really. Uh, caused me to, to select McGee Rehabilitation for my recovery. Um, they've, they've demonstrated that they have the skills and, uh, and really the people make it. The, they really understand um, the, the neurological disorder and uh, the, the, way, the pathway to recovery. I think if you suffer a life-changing incident that impacts your mobility and your capacity uh, to function in this world. I don't think there is any other choice but McGee Rehab Hospital. I feel McGee Rehab is the only place to go for rehabilitation because uh, you know they offer something that a lot of other places don't. You know, you, you go in there and you get greeted with a smile and um, you know they actually care about you and they push you and they want you to they want to help you do what's best for you, um, and you just don't get that kind of care in other places. The future of locomotor training is looking bright, and at McGee, in conjunction with the Neural Recovery Network, we hope that it will become an accepted and standardized therapeutic intervention for more individuals and for a longer period of time. It's still not a very common therapy that's found in many um, areas in the country. And so we still have people who will drive even up to three hours one way every day of the week in order to come for our locomotor training program here.
the locomotive training program only occurs at two sites. One is our Center City Philadelphia Main Hospital, located at 1513 Ray Street, or at the Riverfront Outpatient Facility, which is located at 1500 South Christopher Columbus Boulevard in the Penn's Landing area of South Philadelphia. McGee Rehabilitation Hospital. Amazing things happen when you just believe.